See the True Canada time signal. It's fun to play around with these old radios. Old. Well, they're not old. They're fairly recent. This one is older. This is the original XH Data D808. But uh, I haven't tuned around with them in a long time. So it's kind of fun to play with those. The CHU 3330 coming in. I was trying uh, the Marine Broadcast 2598-2749 from uh, the uh, Maritimes area here. And uh, there's nothing, I guess, uh, the ones we're transmitting maybe too far. Our propagation isn't the same. Lower frequencies in the summertime are a little less uh, interesting because of the uh, very long days. So let's check it out here on the uh, original. As uh, someone was mentioning in uh, one of the videos I posted tonight, there is virtually no difference between both. Uh, whether you have the newer or the older, uh, don't worry, they're they're both great. Uh, they've they've done a good job at converting into uh, you know more modern electronics. We'll call it like that uh, to the Ciudadan D808 and uh, more like surface mount and really, you know, small circuits, uh, where the original here is, you know, the, uh, the coils and everything, which is, uh, shows the, the age of the technology, I guess. Uh, it isn't that old, but, uh, you know, but both are DSP anyways. Uh, let's check out if we can hear, uh, 3413, which is, should be technically single sideband Oop. single sideband I'm going to put it an upper sideband I'm hearing it let's try again to uh, oops Two seven four nine frequency two five nine eight. Yeah, two five nine eight is there a little bit. Not very strong, but it's there to 598, which is the Canadian Coast Guard Marine Broadcasts. Let's take it out here. See what it sounds like on the uh, more modern version of the uh, Ciudadan.
Coast and Coast Guard, probably from Nova Scotia, I would guess, um, from the uh, power that I hear. So that's kind of interesting. Let's try uh, 5505 Shannon Vomit. This is Shannon, Ireland, weather station, 5505 kHz. So Shannon, Ireland. Let's see what it sounds like on the original Xasia data here. Uh, just tuned. Interesting. It sounds almost stronger. I'm going to try to quickly just switch out of curiosity because it sounds stronger, but it could be just propagation here. Uh, probably more propagation. The biggest problem with the uh, XH data when you tune single sideband is really finding the proper fine tuning because you use a fine tuning button and you have these numbers. Uh, one thing for sure for a single sideband signal, always stay close to zero. And then if it, the tone isn't right, then go either up or down to see how to resolve a more natural voice to it. For example, here I'm going to go down on this one. So this sounds more natural and I'm at minus 0908 and fine tuning. Each radio will be slightly different, they're not exactly the same. So it's cool to hear these signals and uh, shows how good these radios are. I mean, man, if I had this rather than a DX100 back in, in the 80s, it's just so amazing when I think about how it would have made a world of difference in my radio listening. It's just crazy, crazy that these radios are so good today. 
So probably more videos tonight. I'm playing around with that. I'm playing around also with the... Um, I'm, I'm going to try the uh, Iqaluit station on uh, 8416 for Navtex transmission a little later on. Might try it on the portables here and decode it on my tablet. So I hope you're uh, enjoying these videos, having fun. But, uh, I mean, the verdict is, is really... Whether you have a modern Seawood on the 808 or the original XHD to the 808, they're both great and both very, very similar in performance.